What's going on, PBO Squizzy? It's your boy, Super Sun, and I am back again with another video. What are we doing today? We are finally making time for the 94 Caprice Classic. So I still haven't received my light for the right side. Still got two lefts, but you know what? That's not gonna stop me from putting the other parts on the car, like the grill, the rear spoiler, the lights, the LED lights, and everything. So with that being said, let's go in the house, grab the parts, bring them out, and we gonna go from there. And instead of me taking them all out at once, I'm going to be taking uh, piece by piece, part by part out just to make it easier on me so I'm not walking back and forth constantly. So, alrighty, I got the grill in my hand right now and I'm looking for the two hardware and we going out, oh, nope, forgot a screwdriver. Need a screwdriver. Bam, alrighty. Now let's go see what the new grill look like on the Caprice. Alrighty, this is what the front looks like with the original grill on. And there it go with the new one. Oh wait, we're forgetting something. Hold on, give me a second. Oh yeah, there we go. Y'all see it? Seems like the hood need to go that way, but hey, it's good for now. But hey, it looks good. So, what's next? We are gonna move to the rear of the car. We got the window spoiler, and we also got the trunk spoiler. So, let's go grab the window spoiler, some water, go clean off the surface, and then we go throw it on. But, this hood won't be standing on for long. I'm gonna get a cow hood for it or a ram air hood. I don't know, something different beside OEM. But all right, let's go grab the other parts. Alrighty, rear window is all clean and it's all nice and warm. So that is extra awesome and gonna give the double-sided tape something to stick to. Let me go ahead and open this and mock it up show y'all what it's gonna be looking like yep very small but you guys see it that's what the mock-up is just sitting on the glass right now laying this is gonna be hard due to it's only me and it kind of the back window kind of have a curve but i'm gonna get it the close i can and the best i can and we just go go from there all righty very subtle and I was actually able to get it on there pretty good. Lay one side down first and then wrap it around and lay the other side. This is the closest it's gonna get. But hey, uh, it looks good. Now it's time to see if I could get this. I, I wanna see it's carbon fiber to seat on the uh, trunk. But if not, uh, I want to say KBD has a polyurethane wing that's supposed to imitate or mimic the SS. And it's pretty much this same material. So if I don't like the way this look on here, then I'm going to just order that from KBD and we just go go from there. But we won't know until we try it. So let's give it a shot. Alrighty, wing look a little look a little weird, and I still think I'm gonna go get the KBD one. This is just double sided tape, and that side didn't want to stick down, so had to put bricks on it so it'll sit down and everything. But yeah, hey, it honestly don't look bad. It looks like the SS wing, 
look a little funky because it's a different color, of course, but once it get painted and everything is done properly in the correct way, hey, it don't look too bad. That KBD one may not be needed. They also have a, a three-piece wing and it uh, a part attaches to this, to the trunk and to that side. And it looks like one big wing, but I didn't like that. I wanted more of the original look. But hey, that ain't bad. Let the sun get this 3M tape stuck on. Up, oh, I need more bricks. This side came up. Let the 3M tape get stuck to the car a little bit. And hey, we in there like swimwear, baby. Now it's on to the headlights. Alrighty, so looking at the headlights, look like i have two bolts right here to take out i have that that bolt right there to take out and i'm sure others uh pop up while i'm doing it but hey we just go go from there i almost i almost messed up this is what it looked like with the old headlights and the old bulbs that's the front you won't be able to see the rear too much due to the weather's out i mean the sun's out but you see it all righty all righty pvo squad not gonna lie to you my phone died and I didn't want to stop. So I continued to finish putting the uh, headlight housing in and new LEDs and man oh man, this car looks so good. Alrighty, so that is old. It's coming in the mail. Y'all know they sent me two lefts, but the right is coming in the mail, but look how glass that is with the new grill. Now this, both of these sides are new. So look, it went from that to that. And I still got to put the LED lights in the tail lights, but I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. But man, oh man, it looks good. And when I turn on the lights, you really can't see the, the headlights are not as bright as I would like them to be. but they still are pretty bright. You got the, uh, look, look, it's not flashing now, but you got the headlights and the hazards. You got the headlights and the hazards and nope, it's not blinking now. I don't know what's wrong with those corner lights, but y'all see it. Both of them working. I might have to adjust the headlights. Like when it get dark, probably go to the bank and make them, make them even, make a straight line. Uh, do it at the cars at work all the time so I know how to adjust them and what to do. But hey, the front end is coming together. Yeah, that looks way better. Now let's take these bricks off and hopefully the 3M tape is still sticky and lift it up so we could change out the LED lights in the rear. Alrighty, the 3M tape is sticking down. Oh, and on another note, I'm getting the trunk measured tomorrow so we could see what all we could fit back here, how many subs we could fit. The I'm going for straight beat. Y'all already know. When I had Star, she had two 12s in the back going crazy. No hatch 
was slapping like my hatch and I don't care what nobody say, but I'm expecting to do the same thing with the Caprice. Nobody go, nobody Caprice go slap like my Caprice. So, hey, yeah. So I need to take out the spare tire with the jack and the chains, uh, put them up. And tomorrow we go into the same dude that built the box for star. We're going to him. He, uh, he works, he's been working at a shop for years. I've been in contact with him over the years, so it's not just me jumping in and jumping out when I need something. But yeah, we going crazy in this one. Y'all better believe that. <laughs> this is exactly what I get for thinking this car is like a fox. So, pull the cover off and still can't get to the LED, <laughs> can't get to the tail lights. So I'm guessing you gotta take all of these little panels off I'm gonna have to unshoot that and then maybe it'll come off. Hopefully, I didn't do too much. Oh, look, I got one. At least on that side, I got one. I didn't do too much research before doing this, so really don't know, but hey, we go figure it out. Alrighty, after a little bit of elbow grease, I was finally able to snatch it off and get it off, so. Let's go ahead and change these lights, clean up the area, and reinstall everything. All right, you see the brake lights and the turn signals, uh, the reverse light. Hold on, let me let me swap these. Totally forgot about these low bolt, these low guys. All righty, everything all lit up, new LEDs, and all of them cleaned up the housing in the space a little bit i'm gonna get more in depth with it when i uh take these out to clean them up but hey we got light people we got light all righty we have light we have light that's the reverse light but we got light so on the front i'm gonna have to find the turn signals in amber because I don't want it clear. Uh, sorry about that. Give me a second. I need to find those in amber. Because I don't want them clear up front. And we're good to go back here. Almost good to go back here, I should say. Uh, it's been a long day. But this video, this video is going to continue and roll over till tomorrow. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Alrighty, these are the lights at nighttime. Yeah, these are bright. These are definitely bright. And the tail lights. I think I'm uh they look they look white. I know on the camera you really can't see it, but they look white. I think I'm a tri uh I'm gonna turn these into red LEDs just so they are actually red and the housing don't look so orange. But yeah, thing is, thing is definitely bright. I was worried about the headlights cause it's like a little cover that covers the LEDs, but nah, you see everything. Of course, I'm gonna have to adjust them, but hey, I'm happy with it. Now I just need to find the orange inside the lights on Amazon and hey, we good. If you made it to the end of this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications so you get notified every time your boy posts a video because it's only going up from here. 2024, it's all about elevation. So with that being said, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch me. I'm out. Peace.